determination. Vince Lombardi once said, the price of success is hard work, dedication to the job at hand, and the determination that whether we win or lose, we have applied the best of ourselves to the task at hand. This quote could help define my past four years as the head varsity boys basketball coach at Covenant Classical Christian School, a school that has an enrollment of less than 130 students and does not have a gymnasium of their own. It all started in 2007 with a team of eight guys who had won all of one game the season before. This may have been the toughest year for the players and coaches involved because of the mental barrier that had to be overcome. As the season began, winning basketball games did not seem like a possibility in many of the players' eyes. But even after finishing 3-15 and with many close losses, I would have to say that the team began to see a light at the end of the tunnel. The players had finally started to buy into the determination and perseverance needed for them to succeed. I believed in them and they finally started to believe in themselves. Now it was only a matter of putting in the hard work and dedication needed to develop a winning program. Although according to many outsiders, failure would be the best way to describe the 2007 season. As the coach of these young men, I truly believed our failure would actually help define our determination. As the 2008-2009 season began, excitement had been building and the entire school began to believe in this team. The season would result in some ups and downs, but Covenant finished with a 12-12 record and earned a berth in the state tournament for the first time in school history. With the entire re team returning, the 2009-2010 season would be one for the record books. Covenant finished with a 22-7 overall record, which was the most wins in school history. The team beat several of the top teams in the state that included schools with over twice the enrollment of Covenant. The Eagles finished runner-up in their region and also advanced to the Final Four in the state tournament for the first time in school history. The maturity and determination of the team was an inspiration to all who were involved with the school. To see the reality of only one win three years earlier become 22 was truly incredible. What a year it had been, but the question everyone had was if this team could continue to be successful. After losing the bulk of their offensive production to graduation, it had seemed as if, if it would be difficult to improve on past accomplishments. However, there was one feat that had avoided the Eagles that missed all their accolades from a year before. They were 0-10 against crosstown rival Glen Forest School during my four-year tenure at Covenant. But with a total of only seven players on the 2010-2011 team, with only one over six foot tall, it seemed wins may be sparse and a victory of the perennial state championship contending Glen Forest Bulldogs would be all but impossible. Covenant lost the first contest with the Glen Forest by 27 points, 90-63. to 63. Everyone began to realize that the Eagles were no match for the number one ranked team in the state. The Bulldogs were bigger and stronger and had a potential Division I collegiate basketball player on their team. However, that's where true determination came into play. Senior David Golden was the only player left on the team for my inaugural first season. He had been through all of the good and bad times and embraced the leadership involved as a team captain for his third consecutive year. After calling a mandatory players-only meeting, the team began to develop a whatever-it-takes attitude. As the coach, this attitude was extremely evident in the games following this crushing and embarrassing defeat to our rival. There may not have been anyone in the world who would have believed this team could beat their powerhouse rival, especially during this season with this team. Nevertheless, the only people that really needed to believe were the players and coaches. There was no doubt in my mind these seven players could beat Glen Forest. After hours of preparation and practices leading up to the game, my players and I were ready to apply our best effort to the contest. I recall telling the team before the game to withstand adversity and believe in each other and their coaches. I told them to give their best effort and let the result take care of itself. As the ball was tipped and the game began, there was no question in my mind that my team understood the true meaning of determination and it was only a matter of time before their hard work, dedication, and resilience would pay off in a huge way.